Good morning. <laughs> Starting off a little late this morning. This is day nine of moving my body. And I just wanted to come on real quick because the first message that I have this morning is, um, it's about progress, not perfection. And I was reminded of that from one of my trustees when I was reading the comments. So thank you. Um, another thing, setting my intentions. I set my intentions to choose wellness. I set my intentions to get up and do my walk and to do what I can. Um, I set my intentions to be kind today and, um, and to just give myself grace. That kindness starts with myself. I'm actually up here doing something different um, working through and pushing through. And that is something that I will remind myself of every morning. So I decided this morning I was going to start listening to, um, uh, my podcast again while I'm going around the, the track on my walk. And I think that is kind of good because that's a great way to, I feel like I'm working on two things at once. I'm working on working my body, but I'm also, uh, working on my mind. So I'll see you out there on the trails. Hey, I'm out here and I decided to take a different part of the trail. I'm on this end of the trail um, where there are basketball courts and uh, I think that's a, a football field over there, a little playground. But what's interesting is I came from back there. That's where I normally come from. But over here, look, I'm gonna flip you around over here I just realized that this is a trail that goes up over there and I want to see where it leads me I came back from over here and now I'm on this end of the trail looks like there's tennis, tennis courts over there the guy playing basketball right there playground over there and a football field that's that prison detail I was telling you guys about they're out here every day same guys so yeah, I'll keep you posted. I think this is so cool how this park is just, just carved out so nicely in different sections. Like these, these are the tennis courts and I came from all the way down there. So I'm so proud of myself. And, but they've carved out this nice path all around the activities. So it allows you to get out and move. It's so encouraging. And I'm so glad I took this route. I was getting um, a little bored with the other um, area. And I said, I know me enough to know that that will make me um, want to stop. So knowing that about myself, I said, you know what? I'm going to take a different route. I'm going to try a different portion of the trail. And I'm glad I came this way. Um, and I'm so thankful that it's just so nice and carved out. It's gravel. You got to go over rocks and twigs and things like that. So to me, for my walking, that's challenging um, enough. And so, yeah. So I'm going to walk all the way around there, all the way around the tennis course. It brings me back to where I began. And then I can walk to the other side to get my car. So progress not perfection get out and do something even if it's whatever you were not wanting to do get up and do that first that is my rule get up and do the thing you don't want to do first and then it builds so much confidence later because when you think about it you're like man I did that I got out and I did it and it's over with I am so thankful it's not as cold out here as it <clears throat> was yesterday I got my gloves I found those in the car. I said, I know I got gloves someplace. Kind of like these these sticks. I was like, I know I got those sticks. So I got everything I need and no excuses to get out here and do me. And, and I love the fact that you can park here and you can just pick the area that you just want to walk. That is, I thought was a football field, which I think it is. But around it, you can definitely see um, lanes like running track lanes so that's a great place to walk if somebody just wanted to just stay over there then you have the basketball courts 
and I just came from all the way over there, which I thought was cool because I could literally park on this side and just stay completely on this side of the park. All the way out there is, uh, where you can see people walking. You can walk the entire length of the park. Like you can see the lady there walking on the, on the track. Man, this is so cool. It's amazing what is in the neighborhood. And if you don't explore, you never know. What's in y'all's neighborhood? Do you have a park in your neighborhood, a track, maybe a school that you can walk around the track and just get your body moving? I feel so much better today. I think it's so cool that she's doing yoga. She's out here every day. Older lady, she's gotta be like 80. Look at her stretching. Amazing. Amazing. I feel so much better today. I feel like my leg and my foot and my knee are working together. Finally, like I'm, I'm going in sync and flow and learning the stride and the gait again on my foot. <sighs> this is just after, what, nine days? Today is Wednesday. And I told myself I choose to be out here. I choose to walk. I choose to love this and I choose to make this happen every day because I get to do it. There are people who can't even walk, can't even get up out of their bed. And I'm taking this, I'm not taking this for granted anymore. I can get up, so I'm going to get up. And it's what we tell ourselves. This is not hard. I can do this. I love to walk. I love to move. And when I start telling myself different stories, I start telling myself different words, my body was like, okay, okay. The mind is like, okay, all right. So instead of it telling me, instead of me telling it, man, this is hard, oh my God, this is killing me. Oh my God, I hit her, hip hurt. I said, no, I'm not doing that anymore. I'm walking, I'm loving this. I love being out here. I love the sun in my face. I love to see the people. I love how nice these people are and they're supportive. They run around, good job, good job. And we're supporting each other because we realize that this is important. So I'm signing off. I still got to get to my car, but until tomorrow, remember who loved you. Day 10.